Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, it's day 11 of lockdown. I've been in my friend's apartment for 11 days now. And I just want to share my thoughts about how this quarantine lockdown is affecting me, especially in terms of mental health. First of all, I just want to say that please, if possible, if you have the means to do so and if you're privileged enough, please stay inside your homes. And for those of you who have the capacity to help other people, then please do. Not everyone is as fortunate as you are. Not everyone is very lucky to have a home to return to. Not everyone is blessed enough to be safe inside their homes, working, have paying jobs. Other people, they really need to go out of their houses or like they really need to find ways to sustain themselves. So if you are lucky enough to have that privilege, then please do your part in helping. Little ways matter. In, in, even in your own little ways, you can still help other people. So, um, in a way, this is my form of helping other people. Especially for those of you who are suffering with mental health problems. I have anxiety issues. And it's, it's something that I battle with every day. Yes, I've been constantly overthinking especially during this quarantine lockdown because I suddenly have all the time in the world, you know. And sometimes my brain just wants to think and think and think. And this is the kind of thoughts that I have been having that is not really healthy for me. So I'm putting it out there so that other people who are like me can relate and to make them feel that they are not alone because you are not alone the first thought that is constantly on my mind is that i i feel like i am not doing enough to help other people i feel like i feel useless <laughs> yeah there is no other term to say it but I feel useless there is no sugar coating it okay so like bear with me yes I am doing my part I am staying at home I am doing the necessary measures I wear masks whenever I go outside and I practice social distancing and um, I'm cleaning the space that I am in right now my friend told me that that is enough that by doing that I am actually contributing to society. I am actually doing something to alleviate this issue. And um, sometimes I forget that. So I just want to share that to you. Whenever you feel like you're not doing enough or you're questioning yourself because you're not smart enough to be, be working on research about this virus, or you're not a frontliner, you're not a health professional. Like you can't physically or directly help other people because you don't have the means to do so. You, you are not equipped to do so. But little do we know or do we realize that by following certain measures, we are actually doing our parts. You are being a good citizen of your country. So yeah, there's that number one number two is that i don't check the news every time like i feel overwhelmed when i constantly check the news so i don't because it isn't good for my stability so sometimes my other friends or like my relatives send a lot of updates about coronavirus sometimes i don't read them in one go because 
I feel overwhelmed and I don't know, I just don't want to be bombarded with a lot of bad news per se. So if you know someone who is also suffering from anxiety, don't overwhelm them. That's another thing that you also need to consider because sometimes we can only handle so much stress and um, sometimes we control it. There is one relative whom I'm not going to name because that's that's bad. The relative got mad because I'm not the most updated person when it comes to news and such. And she, she or he doesn't understand that. I am purposefully because I don't want myself to stress out or to worry unnecessarily and sometimes people with anxiety need to do that, need to detoxify themselves from social media, from news and everything. That's just how it is so that we can cope and sometimes when there there are a lot of news that is very very bad, it fucks us up it you know so don't just don't and it doesn't mean that we aren't aware of the gravity of the situation it doesn't mean that we are not conscious of this issue this problem it just means that we need to take a break from all of these shitty things that are happening now and there's nothing wrong with that it's not a crime to step back from time to time so third point is that it is not good for us to be isolated like this i am blessed and lucky and fortunate enough to be stuck with three other friends here so i'm not really isolated quote unquote isolated but for those of you who are alone and who are also dealing with mental health issues that might pose a great risk for your health so if you have loved ones like that please 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 take the time to check on them because isolation is not necessarily a good thing especially for those who are battling with mental health problems they might feel very lonely very alone and they might relapse into like say depression or anxiety so check on them don't forget to contact them once in a while i don't mean that you need to like regularly check them minute by minute hour per hour but don't be distant yes practice social distancing but from time to time let them know that you think of them too so i miss my family Fourth, that's the fourth point um, it's affecting me so much because my family is in another island and I am here in another island and we don't see each other and it's kind of hard because at times like this being with your loved ones is actually a very good social no moral support and I can only imagine the stress and the fear or the how do you say this? How heavy it is for someone who is isolated alone, who is living alone and without, far from their loved ones. I am really, really thankful that I'm with my friends right now. If ever I was stuck inside my dorm, like my college dorm, I, I don't think I would be positive about this lockdown because it's depressing not to be with your loved ones so i miss my family but i know that when i travel it's very risky and so i made the decision to stay and also i am not allowed to travel now to our hometown because it's under lockdown and nobody can enter or nobody can exit the place because they're trying to contain the virus and I just think that I need to do this because I have a younger brother and my father is um, he has respiratory issues so 
he's asthma he has asthma and you know i don't want to be the one to carry the virus around it's i'm not saying that i have the virus but if ever i took that trip back to my hometown i would most likely contract the virus by being in the airport alone so i really made a decision to just stay and check on them from time to time i did call them i chat with my sister my father sometimes my mother if they reply <laughs> because i know they're being i know um they're making the most out of their quote unquote vacation also my cousin calls me which i really really appreciate because he's not the type to be touchy feely he's not that clingy in person but i am so touched that he took the time to you know call me and to chat with me and oh he misses me just you know so like check on your loved ones if you're not with them be happy that you are with them if you are staying with them right now under lockdown and make the most out of it um this is the time to reconnect with your loved ones especially if you are privileged enough to do so uh you know just try to stay positive and what better way to do that than to make new memories with your loved ones okay lastly also spread awareness whenever you can there are a lot of news out there that isn't genuine authentic true there are a lot of fake news and please don't contribute to spreading fake news it's important to check the sources the kind of information that you're sharing because it is your social responsibility to do so so amidst all of this what is my point i don't know really i just want to talk about this so that a lot of i think a lot of people can relate to me so in summary or in conclusion check on your friends or family who have mental health issues especially the ones who have anxiety and depression because they might be relapsing due to this isolation um try not to stress out too much try not to bug them too much but um uh, take the time to let them know that you care that don't make them feel lonely and second don't get angry with them if they don't stay updated with the news because sometimes it's the way they cope how i am coping with this madness um i try to establish a certain task that i need to do during the day and I'm also catching up with a lot of my lists, my reading list, my movie list, my K-drama list, my blo- vlogging. I post a lot. I film a lot for YouTube nowadays. And I am also appreciative of the fact that I can do this without the need to do ahead stuff because before I've always wanted to do artsy things but i don't have the time to do so because i am busy with my accords so i am making the most out of that i am enjoying our daily photo shoots i mean not daily but it's becoming an everyday thing and it also helps us to ease our mind from stress from worry and you should follow my instagram account i mean by now you should have followed me but if you haven't then I am posting regularly there because I have a lot of photos to post now because of our I think we have had eight photo shoots already and I can't decide on what to post because there are just so many good pictures and I'm just happy that I am stuck with creative geniuses here I don't know after all of this I I don't know how I will get back to my normal routine 
because right now we are just pursuing our art and that helps a lot that helps uplifts our soul and such so if you have anything that you want to catch up on if you are passionate about something then don't forget to nurture it and this is the time to you know get things done if you are able to do so and do your part in your own little way i am sure that you can help so try to be more understanding and empathetic is it empathetic or empathic try to exercise your empathy because now more than ever the world needs it we need it and i guess that's everything i want to say comment down below on what and how are you doing and i hope that you are well i hope that you are still trying to keep the positive vibe going on and i hope that you are safe stay safe guys and i'll see you in my next video